Trump romped to a lightning quick victory on Monday in Iowa's caucus, the first vote in the US presidential race and to convert his advantage into a stunning White House return. The win cements the former president's status as the presumptive Republican standard bearer to challenge Joe Biden in November's election. Trump has led polling for over a year, but the fight was seen as the clearest insight yet into whether he can convert his advantage into a stunning White House return. And I really think this is time now for everybody, our country, to come together. We want to come together, uh, whether it's Republican or Democrat or liberal or conservative. It would be so nice if we could come together and straighten out the world and straighten out the problems and straighten out all of the death and destruction that we're witnessing. That's practically never been like this. It's uh, just so important. And I want to make that a very big part of our message. We're going to come together. It's going to happen soon, too. It's going to happen soon. Well, major U.S. networks took just 30 minutes to project the winner, with Trump opening up an unprecedented 32-point lead over second place Ron DeSantis over the following hour or so. The Florida governor and Trump's other main rival, former UN ambassador Nikki Haley, appeared to be locked in a tussle for the runner-up spot. There have been questions as to whether Trump might have been hamstrung by his legal problems as he faces civil and criminal trials in multiple jurisdictions in 2024. The Iowa victory demonstrates the 77-year-old's success in turning his prosecutions into a rallying cry that has galvanised his followers. He takes his momentum into New Hampshire, the next state to nominate next Tuesday. The Trump election machine is better organised than when he lost Iowa in 2016, with boots on the ground across the early nominating states. He has been staging rallies where he has driven home with uncharacteristic discipline his message that immigration and border security are America's biggest issues. The I.O. result is seen as critical for DeSantis, who shifted significant resources to the state and spent months wooing voters in all 99 counties. Analysts say anything short of a second place finish would be disastrous for the hardline conservative who is seeking to regain ground lost to Haley. Nikki Haley is the only woman in the Republican contest. She said, and I quote, I'm not interested in being vice president. I am running to be president and I'm running to win and we will. The former UN envoy was looking to outperform expectations in Iowa and ride into a one-on-one -on -one matchup with Trump in her preferred battleground of New Hampshire. Haley has campaigned on being more electable than Trump. While much of the campaign has been overshadowed by the legal wars facing the scandal-plagued tycoon, Trump has sought to use courthouses across the country to dominate TV coverage and to rally support. The Iowa contest featured some low-polling candidates too, including biotech entrepreneur Vivek Ramasawi and former Arkansas governor Asa Hutchinson. Ramaswamy had dropped out of the 2024 race. And caucuses are also being held by Iowa's Democrats, along with voting by mail until March, with Biden facing two challenges, but no serious threat. Yeah.